Here we go. Just as I mentioned, only six dollars. You're deploying a Ragnarok F King server. Hello, everybody. Speedrun here once again, bringing amazing content. And in today's video, you will learn how to set up your Ragnarok Online server with Ratina Emulator on Debian 12. And not only that, but by only six dollars. Okay, this is a very good and fair price. The server is smooth and you can test with friends. It's amazing if you're looking to do that. This is the video for you. Now, a lot of people been bothering my nuts. And today I'm bringing this cool content. So please drop a like, drop subscribe, please all that sub goodness. And you will notice on the description of this video that I have this incredible referral code directly to help you to reach your dreams, to have your Ragnarok online server and buy a good price. So use this link to register and you will be the luckiest developer in this world. My ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with this. No more further ado, open your browser. Woohoo! Step number one. The very first step, you need to go to MOBA Extermin MOBA by this link. This link in the description. Got it? And click in download. What is MOBA Xterm? Oh no, 69 freaking 49 euros. No, guys, it's free. It is free. I wouldn't bring some thing that you guys need to waste your money on. Okay, so use this. This is what I've been using for a long time. And get your home edition free download. Bah! Once it's done, you will go and execute your MOBA MOBA X term. So you can see here on the thumbnail, that's the MOBA X term icon. Next, you need Retina Emulator. This is V for Vultiar. That's where we are going to deploy by only six dollars your first Ragnarok online online server oh all right and here is the Debian symbol oh it's behind my character let me move my character here whoa on the thumbnail right here that's the Debian symbol and this is Voltier okay now sliding back here mm -hmm. uh-huh right here now I'm going to start, uh, okay, this is uh, MobX term, but we cannot yet start building our server, okay? Because we need to deploy a server. But before deploying the server, look, this is my YouTube with this subscriber and I expect to grow a lot with this cool content I'm bringing today. And now I want you to focus here because you Love Ragnarok Online, tell me. Mm. Ah, hi Ragnarok Online. Here, 30 what? 36 video for you to mm -hmm. enjoy. Okay, look, they've been made with a lot of love. Okay. There is a lot of content for you to dive deep. Next, you. Ah, you can set. Okay. So this, let me stop this moment here. Okay, it bugged. All right, so this tutorial is compatible, okay, with this. You can set up your offline server first, but you don't have to, you can start fresh. But why I'm saying that? Because if you start with offline server, you're going to enjoy the benefit of not spending one cent with a host. And when you think your server is ready, you can send to the host. But in this tutorial, you can start from zero, from scratch as well. It doesn't really matter. If you want to go ahead and straight on online for your friends to connect, do it. But if you want a much more detailed setup, this video also made for you and this one okay so 
I'm going to use this in this case because it's just um, it's, it's the latest uh, Retina Git. That's what I'm gonna use in this tutorial. And there is one more here, CentOS. Okay, this CentOS 7 setup is unfortunately discontinued by VTR. So I'm migrating to Debian 12, the latest, the greatest, the most mm, yummy operational system you can pick. Okay, uh, this is still a good tutorial. I think it's important to check as well and everything else here now let's go ahead okay and deploy a server so let's uh okay once you register your um once you have registered your vtr with the referral code that i have shown you guys here all right you are going to click in deploy and then uh you can add it at one dollar is okay so what is good about Vultiar, okay, is that you can spend just uh, per hour. So let's say you spend two, three hours, maybe you pay a few cents. It's very small charge and it's perfect for you to practice. If you don't have a big experience, you're not going to waste money like the other junk out there. So I love Vultiar, Vultiar, <sniffs> beijinhos, kisses, I love you now. I'm going to deploy, deploy, no, deploy, deploy, deploy a server. All right. So what I need to do here is deploy a new server down here. Oh, my character is once again hiding that. So deploy, deploy server now. Okay. Uh, let me bring my character a bit more here. Here, you're going here, deploy new server. Look how great Vultier is. Okay, now slide back. Great. Mm -hmm. Where do you leave? You need to pick somewhere close to your location. I like Singapore because it's a very stable connection around Asia. And Asian players are more cool. They're cooler. All right. So I pick Singapore because I want. You can see it now here, 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 folks. 36 per month. No, that's way too much, right? Let's go and drop a bit. So we can go to cloud computer share CPU. Look how cheap already became. Now it's getting there. We are going to pick Debian 12 down here x64 look they have this and that okay we want debian 12. okay they used to have debian 10 i think i think so but now we are going with debian 12 and next let's drop here to 25 gigabytes mm, it's getting tastier the price is getting juicier loved it now i want to off this ipv6 oh i should mention thanks river lex river for actually helping me out to understand all of this without him i wouldn't be delivering this content so lex river you are the man now let's go ahead and off these auto backups with that here we go just as i mentioned only six dollars you're deploying a ragnarok f king server guys look at that mm -hmm. here i'm gonna enter a server name that doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna put test short time okay now i'm going to deploy now so there behind my character was deploy now and you will notice that is installing okay it's installing here once you have installed you'll be able to click here and get the important information that we need so you can see that's really fast 
Okay. It's done. Already installed to us a Debian 12 server right in Singapore. Mm, amazing. Let's go ahead and open that. Here we go. We have the credentials. We have the IP address. Copy the IP address. And I'm going to use this Debian 12 here. Okay. So my amazing reference codes. I should feel shame if you're following my story without registering with my referral code. Okay. So this is our IP lovely address. And here we have a root, as always, the good old root and a password this password i have copied from here clicking this button sweet i hope you're following this is a very beginner friendly tutorial so i if i make it faster maybe you with a little more experience will be like oh you're so slow but then if i'm slow you can watch this video three times faster my friend let's go ahead and continue we have the login credentials for moba xterm sweet now we have moba xterm here what i need to do slide back to the side and make sure your own dark mode is good for our eyes for your pupils okay let's go ahead and create a section and there is s s h let's copy our ip address and hit ok and here accept login as here you are going to put root and there is a password and the password was given to us by booter or booter right okay voter and then here i'm gonna paste but note that when i paste it's not gonna show anything because it's hidden and to paste in mobile x term you need to press shift insert and hit enter you see now i have logged first time here to uh, our machine here made by Vulture. Okay, we're getting started now. That was a long intro, but was completely necessary. Okay, let's begin. Okay, by practicing typing. This is going to be a very very cool tutorial. Okay, it's a good lesson here so on the first section we start to set up the debian 12 operation system okay we'll get by we're going to create a new user now and to create a new user we are going to type sudo and then space ah at user space and then the name of your user in this case i'm going to use debian test debian test you can write any name and pick a cool name for your thing here okay and now i'm going to hit enter and that has uh, created here a new group popping boom amazing now we what do we need to do we need to make some notes okay on that notepad or whatever editor you like okay you're going to add debian test or whatever you have created there sweet next we have a series of code to write here so stay with me we need to give access to debian test so how to do that okay sudo everything su oh Okay, the new password, I forgot that, my friends. We need a new password for this Debian test. And that can be randomized. So I'm going to randomize anything here, just like that. 
and I'm going to select copy and I need to insert it here so so let me just delete a few okay shift insert enter retype shift insert enter and successfully now there is name you can leave it blank and actually I suggest you leave it blank so enter 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 and all that and then this information is correct type y for yes and hit enter and perfect this was a pretty pretty successful thing to do okay water time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. next step my friends we need to give the access to that let's start writing some more codes love it sudo user mod space uh, minus sign here a capital g space sudo and then you write your the name of the name you created right in my case here i have created debian test so here i'm going to write debian test debian test let's make sure that's correct perfect so we have done one more step right next um we need to switch to that user now so the user we created we give access and now we're going to switch to that user and to do that you need to go sudo space su space minus sign space debian test you are you getting are you understanding drop uh, comment there say I am understanding it's clear it's perfect I love the speed run let's go ahead and click enter next we have to let me think let me think we should update and upgrade the system and to do that we can do um, sudo apt and space update okay and then there is asking the password okay for debian test and this is uh, let, let me see if this is the one it should be this one yeah it is so it's the password we just created above and you can see that's installing here the package is done start and then there is one more code here so sudo apt space upgrade space minus y hit enter okay now we finish the doing the upgrade that we need delicious mm -hmm. uh-huh now we go to we need to install something let me see the library for the emulator and website and the patch too so to do that we go sudo space apt space install apache 2 space y uh, minus y okay installing that stuff there next uh, okay done you see how fast very very cool and we need now to check let's check this status sudo or sudoc sudogu suduru suguru and then sys then ctl space status before i say status no status right Apache, Apache, a page, Apache, dois, two, Apache, two, and then hit, and wait, after, okay, so we hit enter and then appear like this, oh, it's like crash and explode everything, no, you need to press ctrl z for some whatever reason, 
thanks Lex River for this information. Now, um, now we need to install MariaDB server for the database and whatever, whatever. Let's go ahead and install that MariaDB with sudo 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 google 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 and then apt okay install marie ma 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 mia maria db minus sign server space y minus y look at that look what a what a mistake here let me see ah, okay it's not sugo it's sudo su do you see so write well so you can do a proper thing you see nah if you mistake then it's not gonna work so make sure you're following okay this is just for the one who really want to to do this thing huh? you want to run a server but no pain no guy next okay this is a good start here we go but for a much better for amazing security you want to install uh, the secure installation resources and to do that we're gonna now get ready this is massive sudo space my sql all right underscore secure underscore in get ready get ready installation and hit enter and then here okay hmm. enter the password for root what is the password for root my friends i think is this right this is a root let's try that shift insert enter okay and it is now i'm going to type a n for no another n for no if you want to read the bible feel free but i now i press the y y y and y here we go next let's check the status once again and to do that we need to go sudo mm, sudo system system ctl space status space maria maria db look at that amazing perfect as it should now control z sweet now let's go ahead and let me think test let's try to enter marina the maria db maria db maria db Mar it's like the Google translation. Maria DB. When you ask twice, it's like Maria DB. Maria DB. Maria DB. Sudo Maria DB and smash the enter. Look at that. What to do? Um, here you need to. Oh, I know. Here you need to type exit. E -X E X X X is it exit? All right. Ooh. Exit. Mm -hmm. This is uh, our tenth command, and we have about. Let me see. Let me see. This is very quick tutorial. Broken, and chew and spoon feed to you only twenty eight. 28 codes here to open a server look how easy breezy that is i'm going here slowly you know 
and making sure you understand what I'm saying. Okay, without any stress, without you getting scammed by people, you know, in this kind of thing, a lot of scams, my friends. So I teach you so you don't get scammed. So at least I deserve your thumbs up, your subscribe, and all the goodness. Next, we go into the eleventh command here that we need. Uh, I mean, code. Okay, code line. This is a big one, okay? Let's see if I can do it. Sudo apt. Ah, this is for the next one is for we're gonna install the common PHP extensions for managing the servers, okay? So sudo apt install PHP. Okay, I hope you're following. If it's too fast, pause the video. PHP my admin space liba pesh chu okay and then here's the minus sign mod minus sign php space php minus sign my sql space php minus sign cli space php Minus sign is getting there, it's getting there. Okay, follow along, please. Okay, CL PHP hmm. C U R L space PHP minus G D space PHP minus M P S P R I N G. So this is MB string. Okay, you need to follow that perfectly. PHP minus XML space PHP. Oh, PHP um, slash or minus sign zip space minus sign Y. That was a big quote, but uh, you can see that is pretty, pretty well done. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Let me see. Is done. Ah, there was a little, little error here. Let me see. P H O. No, not P H O. Here was a error. Okay, so we can type this uh, again. PHP slash MySQL. Um, oh, sorry. sudo apt install. So I'm going to actually select this whole thing and just fix the, the place that were, was wrong here. PHP. And the next one was, oh, okay. So two times I press PHO. P. Where is the PHO? Ah, is the zip okay this is this is getting me stressed where is the zip oh but ah ah here so here is zip okay got it and there was php my sql okay oh now we got it perfect the other colines should be a lot, a lot smaller. Okay. So now it's still installing, as you can see. Sweet. Here we need to uh, paste the PHP my admin access twice. Okay. So here I am going to press space first. Oh, it should be a patch too. 
press space first and then hit enter okay and then we will require our php my admin password twice so let's see it's installing all the goodness Sweet. So here I'm going to hit yes, and here is the password. Okay. So there was I enter before this, and now I'm going to add the password for the PHP. I'm going to add this password right here. Okay. So shift insert enter, shift insert enter. Okay. Ooh, this is a uh, quite adventure. Huh? Next, I am going to um, so mostly everything is installed. We have to configure what we have installed. So we need to open the web server and config the start that. Okay, and to to do that, this is a cool cool mom moment here. You need to focus. Okay, but set up in in Debian twelve on Booter is a really cool thing to do. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, front slash okay. etc for etc. And then a bash you slash uh, front slash sites. And then minus sign available. All right, and then from slash zero zero zero, uh, and then default dot com. Okay, ooh, here we have to do a few things, my friends. Okay, um, we need to go all the way down and press enter to send to the next line. And here, let's write a little, little code, a sweet code, okay. Actually, um, this is what you need to write, okay. Here we go. Uh, let's make it easier. So you write this on your notepad or anywhere, and then you're going to copy that, okay. And you're going to shift insert, and then press enter. So what that does is to to paste here this code instead with we write and then you can just hit enter uh no uh next we need to uh just okay control x and then y and then enter okay that was pretty easy 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 easy, easy. Now we are going to save and exit. Okay. Next, we need to restart the web server and check the status again. And to do that is very easy. So sudo system ctl restart re restart apache two enter great now we are going to the code number 14 and this is um actually i'm not so sure i think we need to check the status okay we started now we check the status and that is pretty much the same thing but we need to change the restart to status hit enter and that we can press Ctrl Z. Everything is, is proper, is perfect. Next, we need to set up the SSH configs to allow our web server to. Uh, so to do that, we need a nano. Oh, no. I will sudo first. This is the open command, nano. And then from slash etc from slash ssh from slash sshd underscore config 
sweet here we need to do a bunch of things okay so all the way down um you are going to paste this line right here okay all the way down you're going to paste this line i'll leave this kind of lines in the description so it makes easier for you these ones okay now let's copy this and hit insert here and hit ok all right next we need to search a few things so to to do search on here i mean on mobile extern you need to control w and then there is a search option down here where i can search for uh x11 for here for the here we need to change this to no okay so we go here and change to no and the next thing to do is to change the port to an issue so let me see if i find it should be all the way up here here so port 22 you see that you need to delete the uh hash here again okay? and that should be it let me see okay yeah so control x to exit and then y to save enter perfect we have configured here the the, the part this yeah all right next we will search for let me see oh yeah we need to do a restart on the ssh service just to be safe so sudo system ctl again restart ssh simple as that now i want to move let me see it. let's configure the firewalls okay and to do that is very easy my friends so you just do sudo space u f w is status all right so everything is all right and we need to uh let me see how can i explain this okay if in case okay this just in case is not active here you see the active term if it's not active you are going to run oh. if in case it's not active you're going to run this code but in my case it says active so i don't need to worry about it and next number 18a okay uh you might change the host uh, let me see uh we need to i'm gonna add this code on the description as well okay so you need to copy this and paste it here and hit enter so it added two rules and the next thing to do um in case this fails again just in case this fails you are going to paste this okay so far it's also all right so i can skip that let me see all right so actually i'm going to run this code again i just press here i need to press yes let's see it should be yes and now i'm going to shift insert this code again i just want to see oh yeah it's added uh so yes 
Okay, so in case I think I was missing that, I'm not sure. So next we need to add open the SSH. We are getting there, my friends. sudo ufw space status rate. Uh, next we need to let me let me see about the next step. We can move on to setting up the Retina trunk for Ragnar Online Emulator to install some tools that need to do. Yeah, so these are important tools for our installation of Retina. Okay, what to do here? sudo apt install build and then minus sign essentials space cm cma ke all right simake simake sounds like uh i'm hungry for sushi but fine so you would type the simake and then the Libby Maria DB. Alright. And then let's put the dev. And then we are going to call the libcell here, you see. And so that's a L Y B S S L minus sign dev. And then one more we need to call. That's the the next one is Zlib1g, yes, Zlib1g. I was forgetting Zlib1g. Can you imagine? Minus def, okay, and then minus y. Hmm. If I wrote all correctly, unable to locate package build essentials. Did I write something wrong there? Let's see. So sudo apt install build essentials. Let me paste it. Let me check again. Yeah, there was a typo, my friends. Somewhere was a typo. Somewhere. I will leave this line here as well because it might. Uh, it's fair. It's fair to leave it here. Some complicated lines. Okay. The next one, I'm also going to leave in the description i have a limited amount of uh, words for the description in case it doesn't fit i'm going to link a, a txt file but it should be all right so next i'm going to paste this line right here and this is to is some essentials as well for the mariadb and I installed the unzip and stuff, good stuff. Here, I'm just telling you to install good stuff, you know? The amazing shit, yeah. The amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, so next, let's post this code here. And you can see that it's just wonderful, you know? You see all those building and stuff. Mm, amazing, okay? all right so next uh the next one i can i can go by hand so this one you get ready okay lord of rings book is about to be written just jokes uh, make dear so this is to actually make a directory to operate in uh, change to that directory you know what i mean so there's a pretty basic stuff here, okay. Basic, basic. MKDIR, okay, space, minus P, space. Then this is what we call, uh, how can I do this symbol on my English keyboard? Here we go. So shift and then next to one there. This symbol called CHIL in Portuguese, Brasileiro. Falando brasileiro, português, brasileiro, entendeu? É chill. This is chill sound, ok? And then in English, I don't know how this symbol called, but in Portuguese it's chill. So make cheer, ok? 
Okay, so you make G space minus P, chill. Okay, I learned a Portuguese word today. Front slash server. But server has a capital S. By the way. Next, we can go CD. Now to change, right? To change the directory. CD space chill again. Our nice chill there. And then front slash server. Remember, server is capital. Next, we need to call sudo cm uh, ch mod space a plus x basic stuff again right a plus x space minus capital r this time and then space chill look at that chill and then front slash server remember server is capital all right and then we have to do one more one more guys one more sudo space ch o w n space minus capital r right and then debian test this debian test wait for, uh, this debian test is what we have created right in the start my friends you remember here debian test so if you're lost that's where the event test is and then chill again okay once we do that we put server capital server again oh no don't forget the front slash there in the right place here front slash and then hit enter mm. it tastes like um it tastes like a pizza but pizza from Brazil because it's much better than Italian pizza. Mmm, tastes good. Next, we are going to make a directory to operate in the change to... Ah, that's what I just did and then that, okay. Now is the step number 24. Hope you're following. And we are about, my friends, about to finish all of this. Next, we need to create a uh, create a database for the game, and to do that is just two words: sudo space Maria DB. Look at that, so nice. Maria DB, and and here I uh, I need to let me think. Oh, yeah, so here we have a huge note for you guys, okay? And it's it's very simple. So when you see this known, I'm going to leave this, this whole thing, okay? Because we need to fresh the privileges and create a uh, entry password and stuff. So this password you want to make something cool so you may whatever you like okay i'm going to use this but when you're copying my code or writing by hand make sure to, to add your personal unique your own nyan, nyan, nyan words okay here so now i select all of this okay and i'm going to paste here by shift insert okay and and that should be cool that should be all right let me see enter it's a bye you see so rude bye grant privileges and stuff and now now seems like okay seems like all right seems like all right Let's do a test here, my ladies and gents. Okay, so what I want to do here is to in any browser paste the paste this, okay, and then front slash php my admin slash. Let's see if I can 
open the PHP my admin and I can actually open the PHP my admin which is perfectly perfect you know so with that said here I think here is Debian passed okay and here should be the password we just made it but let's see and here we go I have logged in and you can see that this Hakuna Matata here, you see, Hakuna Matata. So everything is working pretty well and you guys, you know, love it. Next, uh, remember the user, ba -ba -ba. and then we can get our Ratinha, mm, Ratina. So there are a few emulators out there. Uh, to be more specific, two, as far as I know. So you go to Ratina here, github.com, Ratina, blah, 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 right? I'll, I'll leave this link in the description. And you download your own Ratina. If you don't have yet, of course, if you have, you're going to upload that, that stuff there. And here I need to... I need to... Go to my downloads here, okay, and and bring my Retina Master, okay. All right, so it's transferring the zip file to here to my desktop. For some reason, it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, I can cancel that. Uh, I'm gonna open through here. All right, so it's bugged. Ah, there it is. There it is. Um, I want to drag. Uh, my my wing heart have some reason. For some reason, it shut down time to time. So now I open and we never pay for wing heart. That's the law. And here we going to drag, create a folder and let's call. Uh, my server ro my server ro or just client whatever you want you know be creative don't just wait my opinion my friends be creative you know and select everything inside and suck it in there suck very good in there okay now we Wait, the transferring. Oh my God, I'm so excited because we are almost done with all of these. This is the best tutorial ever made in the, the human existence. Okay, my server row. And here we create a new zip file and call uh, my rec row, whatever you want. Yeah. Select all by pressing Ctrl A, press Ctrl to deselect the zip, drag it in, and here we go. Okay. What we need to do next is to click the refresh button. Uh, go back here on the thing and then press home. So there's a double dot, right? And you go home, right? And there's a Debian test. You can use that folder if you want. Um, I'm going to... There's a server. Okay, Debian test server. Actually, you can... You can go anywhere. So here we can press LS to know what folder we are. And we are in server. Let's see, server. Let's see. All right, so here I believe is CD, and then you press tab and hit enter. So now we are in servers. So if I press LS, CD, so we are in servers. Guys, I have uh, been tripping. Actually, I am in server location, right? So what I need to do actually 
is to go to home, Debian test, and then server. I was like, where is server folder? Here we go. This is server folder. And now I need to uh, insert the next line. Uh, let me see. So now that we are here, actually we need to draw, drag and drop our server, my server here. Drag and drop to mobx term inside the server folder. That was very confusing, I'm sorry, but it's all good. We are here, it's working fine. I'm going to now, I can right click and unzip, I think, but now I can put ls. And you can see that we are in the right place, okay? And uh, we can unzip by just type unzip and then space. And if you uh, press tab, you will see that the name is written by itself. So you can press enter. Now it's unzipping, which is perfect, okay? And now if I refresh here, we have everything. Next. Uh, we need to, let me see, hmm. now we have the retina, perfect, we need to give a permission, so here we can just, it's a very basic code line called sudo, and we need to chmod, okay, space a plus x, the very classic a plus x my friends and then uh dot from slash configure here we go and then just hit enter now we have given a permission and that permission is like vip level of stuff guys it's like amazing permission there now we can uh put the final full stop right and then the front slash this actually uh, i forgot to explain but uh things are ready to configure using your client version blah blah, blah. actually uh, i'll show you this code right here uh let's just let's I'll, I'll be simple and just go ahead with make clean and uh make clean and then we can type make okay um actually this will be easier to to paste it so i'm gonna share this code with you guys as well okay i'm a, i'm cool right so go ahead and copy this and then shift insert enter enter okay this is now compiling the server. What is happening right now? It's just incredibly powerful here in Debian 12 to be able to compile your server. Okay, we got to a moment of joy. Mm -hmm. While it's compiling, we can just don't, don't waste the time. And we can go to... Um, to your offline server or a client folder you you will learn how to set up a client folder by um by watching my tutorial let me go back here make sure you remember so this tutorial and this tutorial will teach you how to set up on your window so it's good for testing and uh of course the client side is something that I'm not teaching in this tutorial, otherwise it will become too long. So I assume you have your client side set up. And those videos teach you on how to set up the client side. And I am going now to my client side. Okay. Here we go. And there is a data folder. And inside data folder, you're looking to... You need to find client info and you can open that with a simple, simple notepad because, you know, smart people use regular, beautiful notepads. And here you copy your uh, IP address. Okay. So I'll 
paste the IP address right here on the address place, okay? And I'll be able to connect, believe it or not, very soon to our server just by doing that. And uh, all right, so we almost there. Let me just check my notes. And here we gave permission uh, to start the server. Okay. All right, so there's a very few things left to do. Still, um, still compiling. So what do we need, we can do and uh, take chance of that is to import the SQLs. And we can create whatever we want here. Okay, so let's go to home. Click on the home icon, press new. And here we create three SQLs. The first one, it could be main uh, SQLs. So main SQLs is what I want to add. I'll create that. I'll create another new one that calls logs and hit uh, create and I'll create one more that calls web actually I will not create the web one yet uh, but uh, why not just create a web so web okay great so let's go ahead and uh, check my server folder and here is X SQL files. And here I can have logs and I go to import. Under import, I'm going to uh, drag and drop these logs. And you can see if you click again, there it is. Easy, breeze, drag and drop. Now there is main SQLs. And that will be just the main main uh, .x sql drag and drop mm, beautiful click there it is and there's web why not just import the one not here but here so does it work if i import like here it actually does very smart this is cool now we have imported I am going to press Ctrl F and search for login. And here we go, login. Now we can add a user. But let's be smart and still compiling, you see that? And we are saving time by setting up the rest here before we being able to log in almost there. We are going to config folder, classic config folder. And there is Charitina. In Charitina, well, if you double click with Mobus Term, it will open this. So there is S1 and P1. S1, we're gonna add anything we want. P1, anything we want. Okay, Ctrl S to save. And then out save. Don't ask me again. Uh, okay, so this first user ID from charitina.com, we are going to paste in here S1. Paste it. Okay. Next, we are going to paste the password, which is here. All right. Now we have set up here the user ID for our uh, table here, my main SQL. Look how awesome that is. And I can show you that I'm going now to insert a table here because we want to be able to log in straight away. And that is very easy. Uh, I'm going to... The account ID, you don't need to add anything. User ID, you can add uh, whatever you want. So I'm just going to add my classic speedrun. And the password, same thing. Uh, if if you're using regexc 
2022, at least six characters for this two. Next, we don't need email or anything, but uh, group ID we set to 99, so we have a GM power right there, and click go. Now we have added <clears throat> under your login table. Login table, right here, if you click, you can see that we have added a user. Okay, let's see how it's going. Still compiling, but it's almost there. Okay, first time takes a little bit of time. Uh, here and here, we are going to add the IP address. And this IP address is this one. Okay, the one Vulter has give, given. Here we go. Uh, so this is Char Athena, and now we have Inter Athena. And here is is I'll leave Inter Athena last. Let's do first uh, Map Athena. And then there is log Athena, right? Enter. Enter Athena. I want to do last map Athena first. So let's go ahead and copy this shoe and paste it right here. Next, I'm going to copy. Here, you can give the name of their server and stuff. I'm going to copy this IP to paste it here. Okay. And also down here, this is classic, you know, if you've been using emulator, this is basic, basic stuff. So not, not log Athena, but login, login Athena. So here I have the bind, bind IP, only that save okay uh we might not need to change that but let's let's try like this first and then everything is good enter Athena now uh what is the login server ID login server ID is your is here in my case, is main SQLs. So let's go ahead and type for the ID. So now I think I got it. This um, let me see if it's still compiling. Yes. All right. So the DB should be this then, and where it says ID should always be root. It's been a while since I set this up. My ID. Okay, so ID. Let's go with root. I think that's a root, root, root. ID, 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 root. So here we have DB. Okay, my my SQL. Okay, so there is no Ragnarok. It's just my SQL. SQL. And then the web should be just web and logs. It should be logs. Okay, that should be good. And then for the IP address, leave us local hosts. It should be pretty, pretty fine as well. Hmm. Okay, login at, you know, good. Is it still compiling? Yes, it should be about to finish. So I was finishing. Let me just double check if everything is all right. Server name. I want to look for the pin code. Pin code enable. Let's put no here. Then it's easier to log in. And 
Okay. Yeah, I think we are all set to run this. Still, uh, still compiling. There's uh, another code we need to enter. And that code is, let me see, the last code I have entered was, I still cannot check the previous code. I think it was the permission and then we make clean. Okay, we, so make clean is to clean here the everything here and then make servers to compile uh, just make okay so that's what we did last and then we need to give permission to start with okay so the next code line we are going to insert before we start the server is I'm gonna add it right here in this note. Is this so the step 28 and that will give us some um, permission to start the server and then we can then we have to allow the firewall. I think there are three codes left, so all I am waiting is to compile. I won't show you really the whole procedure. I had two, three cuts here, but I'm showing you everything that's happening so you don't get lost. And then let's talk a little bit about our, about my YouTube here, right? Um, you can learn about sprites, you can customize your level up effect, you can you can see how to add maps, how to add the sky maps, so give you a nice background to your maps, you can now see how to create whatever map you like, and uh, to create your, change your login window, the background here, the design, you see how many nice stuff here. So it's very interesting if you're a Ragnarok fan. If you want to see sprites with DAO, sprite the editor, you have this tutorial. And then have the recolor tutorial, you can create different mobs without um, effort, it's like easy, two, three clicks, and you can change like this. And then you have, uh, if you're missing sprites in your server, then some map creation of mine, and then how to add mobs. You see how to add custom car design mobs, how to add mob spawn, how to uh, make an NFC, and how to, wow, like everything, literally everything, look. How to make a screenshot here properly, custom screenshot, uh, how to flat the map for war, and then there is find anything retina emulator, this is amazing video. Here we go to remove signboard list here. And then a masterclass tutorial on how to diff your regexc. Here we go, compiled. Hmm. Yes, I'm so excited because this is the moment we can nearly turn on the server. I just gave you guys a code, right? Copy this code, shift, insert, enter. Have to be in this window, enter. All right, and now um, this, I get, yeah, this is the last step, last step. Okay. Um, so for the last step, we allow the firewalls and this is a cool copy and paste line as well that you will have here. Uh, okay, now we shift insert. Oh, so we actually need to paste the Debian test. Um, 
passwords. So here we're going to try a few passwords. I think the passwords requiring is this. No, this is for SQL. The band test is this one. So shift insert enter. And here we go. We have added the firewalls. And now we should be able to restart the server. Let's see if that works. Dot front slash Athena minus sign start space start permission denied maybe we need to give another permission here so sudo ch mod a plus x space minus capital r and then chew slash server and one more sudo c h o w n space minus r the end test and then chew slash server let's try to start the server and we we have a denied access, so now we need to just fix a few things, but the server already tried to install. So char server, let's see what's going on here. Root localhost on the logs. Okay. Logs, logs. Main SQLs. All right, I'm still trying to figure out, but I think it shouldn't be a root here. It should be because if this is the password for the SQL PHP my admin here, maybe we can I can go ahead and try to change into this. So it seems like it's not being able to connect with the ID root, and that makes sense. So all I can think of is that this root should be Debian test. Okay, let's see if now I can run the server. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, sorry. I... Hmm. Start, so start. Oh, nice. Okay, so now it's running. Oh, I'm so happy right now. It's running. We did a good job. We did an amazing, fantastic job. Everything is green, it's beautiful. Oh, mamma mia. Here we go. We have got to the most exciting moment of the server, which is to, to log in and try to play clients. And then I'm going to run here. So just a moment. Right here, I'm going to insert speedrun and then our password that we have created and see if I can log in. So now, interesting. Okay, after a little bit of struggle, seems like uh, when I have added this, it didn't went through properly. So what I did was just to paste all three together. So you can see, I'll go back up here and show you. Um, let me see here. So I have added the rules again and then insert the password and he approved it for the rules. So maybe there was an issue there and now I should be able to connect. So let's try again to stop. So it seems like the firewall was blocking my connection. Now I am yeah, destroy, uh, stop the server and now start again. And I'll try to log in. It should be okay now.
things that can happen upon the first setup but it's all right um now we should be able to log in you can see you can see that everything's still the same here over here so data as client info our client info mean open with notepad so here's the fd everything is the same and now i'm going to run this and should be able to log in yes okay we can create the character yes we can do it now you can see that everything is right so i can create anything i want the name login as you can see we are inside now it's an online server if anyone else connects to that ip address would log in here so add go zero you can see that is going to prontera okay so we are in prontera everything is working oh yes this tutorial it's incredible ladies and gentlemen first time being revealed on a video how to set up a debian 12 so you may please just uh leave a comment of appreciation um somehow say thanks speedrun it worked if you got until the end i wish you the best of luck with all of your ro journey look we have here a this is still rent renewal but it's working it's working let's see how much level we go through here increase the dex a bit with the str oh this is looking really nice so everything is working well still dealing one damage So I can go uh, add item 15.99, and here we go. Bam. That's it. Everything is working well. Add monster boring. And apparently boring has an old card album in this server. Look at that. That's nice. Or was, uh, or how come, right? Let's try that again. Pouring 500. Wow. I didn't know renewal was this terrible, but apparently pourings dropped old card album. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was the tutorial for today. I am tired to speak for now. But here we go. Here we are. I have registered a moment of history on uh, everyone's uh, life that has gotten to here, right? So, a uh, big kiss on your heart, my friend, and take care. Bye bye. Oh, I can't. I did again. I did again. Oh my God.